Both turbos and superchargers are designed to make your engine produce more power, but they do it in very different ways. Let's start with the turbo. A turbo uses the engine's own exhaust gases to spin a turbine, which then drives a compressor wheel. This compressed air is forced into the engine's cylinders, allowing it to burn more fuel and create more power. The advantage, turbos are extremely efficient because they recycle energy that would otherwise be wasted through the exhaust. That's why you often find them on smaller engines, like those in modern hot hatches, or on massive diesel engines and trucks. But there's a catch. Turbos have something called turbo lag, a delay in power delivery, because it takes a moment for the exhaust gases to spin the turbine up to speed. Now, a supercharger is different. It's mechanically driven by the engine's own crankshaft, usually with a belt. This means the power is instant. There's no lag because the compressor is spinning as soon as you hit the throttle. Superchargers can produce massive low and torque, which is why they're often used in American muscle cars, high-performance, sports cars, and even dragsters. But the downside, they're less efficient because they take power directly from the engine to run. So while a supercharger can give you instant, brutal acceleration, it also costs a bit of horsepower just to keep it spinning. That's why you rarely see them on modern fuel-efficient cars. In short, turbos are efficient but can have lag. Superchargers are instant but cost power. And if you really want the best of both worlds, some cars, like the Volvo S60, Polestar, or the Volkswagen Golf 1.4T, actually use both, a supercharger for low-end power and a turbocharger for high-end boost. It's a complicated dance of air and power. But when it works, it's a beautiful thing. Stay curious.